Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at net gas on the daily and weekly time frame, bearish reversal is forming here. We had a bit of a spinning top yesterday, seeing that confirmation today. We had a little bit of a run up into the earning or the inventory report at 10:30 this morning, and then a big sell off and a reaction and $2 psychological resistance began to act as resistance. We can see the last 2 days pulling back from that level, but the bulls did buy the dip and we bounced off the 50 day and the 10 day moving average, both of those aligning near each other 193 and 194. So those will be key supports to keep an eye on if we see this double top form at $2 and begin to pull back. The must hold level is down here at 1837. If we cannot keep that level, it will essentially be a double top and then lower lows, which would indicate some bearish activity. The weekly chart shows this $2 resistance pretty well here the last three weeks, all pulling back from that psychological level. So we're currently not confirming the bearish reversal candlestick from last week. We are looking to close above the 10 week moving average support of 192 by the end of the day tomorrow to continue to hold or to regain that level as support. But we can see this middle Bollinger Band resistance at 204. And again, that $2 psychological resistance needs to become support for the bulls. So keep an eye on these moving average supports on the daily time frame. And we're in a channel now here of that 100 day moving average resistance of 206. These moving average supports down at 193, 194. So we'll see if this is just normal consolidation. We do see that big red spike in volume, but that all doesn't belong to the bears. As I said, the bulls saw some run up in the morning before that inventory report. So need to take that with a grain of salt and realize that some of this volume here is for the bulls. And we will see what tomorrow brings. Thechartguys.com is the website. Free trial, no credit card required. We would love to welcome you to the community. I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.